सो हे गाइज आई एम सीफ एंड टूडे गोइंग टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन न्यूली लॉन्च टोयोटा ग्लैंजा 2022. सो फर्स्ट आई लुक एट द की सो दिस इज द की ऑफ दिस ग्लैंजा यू गेट द लॉक फंक्शन एंड लॉन्ग फंक्शन एंड यूर यू हैव वेन यू एक्सेस दिस क्री फ्रॉम यूर यू विल गेट द मैनुअल की विच यू कैन यूज वेन द बैटरी ऑफ दिस की इज डाउन सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द एक्चुअल वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू गिव वॉट ऑफ थैंक्स फॉर द सो नो टोयोटा कोलापुर वो अलॉड मीटर मेक अ वीडियो ऑन इट सो नॉ दिस स्टेट आई मूव टूवर्ड्स द इंजिन बे So this car gets 1.2 liter petrol engine which produces about uh, 88.50 bhp of power and 130 newton meter of torque uh, at 4400 rpm mated with 5 speed manual and 5 speed amt gearbox and the claimed arm mileage is about 22.94 kmpl with uh, 37 liters of fuel tank capacity so now let's start our move towards the in uh, exterior so this is uh, this is the exterior of this car now you get the new on new bumper side and uh, front new look This is a Toyota logo, and this is a chrome grille, which chrome strip which runs across the grille. So this reminds of, uh, reminds you of the Camry, the same thing or the same style they have carry forward for the Bel Glanza, which is a the best version of the Maruti Suzuki Berlino. Now the Maruti Suzuki Berlino also has launched the new uh, 2022 Berlino. So the main differences are the main differences of the. Balino and the Glanza as such. Now you get this beautiful LED tail lamp, uh, DRL, which runs across the headlamp cluster. And you get projector headlamps with the uh, halogen. Uh, sorry, with the indicators. And in the Balino, the difference is that you get the arrow, like uh, the arrow structure or the arrow style LED DRLs. Underneath you get the new bumper. Here you can opt for the fog lamp. This is the chrome surrounding which uh, surrounds the fog lamp. But the, this model is not having that. It will get in a top end variant. Here is the number plate area. You get this Podia bumper. This is a this is a second change of the uh, second difference between the uh, Glanza and the Bolino 2022. So let's have this is how the uh, Glanza looks. Now the Glanza looks much more aggressive, rah, and the Bolino looks much more subtle for the family. This may attract more of the youngsters rather than the old age people. So this is how it looks. Now you also get some amount of the smoke effect in this uh, Intel lamps. Sorry, in headlamps, not the tail lamps. So this is how it looks. So now the tire size of this car at the front is 195, 55R, 16 inches. You get this beautiful alloy wheels. This is another change. Now the the alloy wheels you get in Bolino are different, and the way you get in Glanza is also different. Though, so I prefer the alloy design of the Glanza rather than the Bolino. Now you get the disc brake at the front, and you also get the Mac Pherson sur suspension at the front, while the torsion wheels was uh, torsion wheel. suspension at the rear so this is from the when you look this car from the side it actually looks like a balino apart from this alloys now you can differentiate by seeing the alloy designs so this is how it looks and you also get the chrome uh, inserts which runs across the window pane you can see you also get the chrome inserts for the door handle which comes in added accessories you get this normal antenna not the shock thing you can this is a, a spoiler At the rear, you get the spoiler with the Hyman shop lamp. This is you get the rear defogger with wiper, wiper and defogger and washer. Now here you have the Toyota badging, the Glanza badging, and this is the same tail light design which you get in Balino. From uh, if you compare this car from the uh, Balino at the back side, from the for the rear, now the rear of this Balino, sorry of this Glanza and the Balino is actually the same. There's nothing any difference rather. Then the Toyota and Glanza badging and their variant badging. This is G variant, not the top end one. Here underneath you have the number plate area, and you get the number plate light. Now another good feature that this car offers is the best in class 360 degree surround view camera. So you you have the camera. So this is a not this is not the top end model, but you do get that 360 degree surround view camera feature for the top end, which is best in class, and that's a very good feature to have on offer. Now you get 37 liters of fuel tank capacity. Now let's check out the motor version inside. Let's check it out how it offers. What are its creature comforts? You also get the passive entry function. So this is the electric folding ORVM with the color, the same color, body color, and an indicator embedded in it. So now let's check out the inside of the car. Before moving inside, these are the controls for the driver uh, windows for the driver and the passengers as well. This is to lock and unlock the door. This is to unlock the child's door or the in the child window so that they it may prevent by uh, prevent the children because most of the children just puts hands out hands out of the window when the car is on the road that's dangerous these are the controls for your war games as they are electro folding this is to open the door this is to lock and unlock the door here you have the armrest with some amount of the soft padding which helps you 
to keep your arm when you are driving the car here you have the grab handle here you have one bottle holder with the maximum holder as well now you get manually adjustable the seats for the driver as well as for the co-driver now another one function is that you get a start stop button this is the auto start off and this is the function for the headlight leveler you do get this s events with the glossy black surrounds and underneath you have some space to keep your tickets or you can wallet this is to open the hood and this is the lever to open the fill lid so getting in and out of this uh, of the car is not that tricky it is very easy for the older people and for the so now let's on the instrument cluster now you get the uh, analog instrument cluster as well as the 4.2 inch of the central mid which shows the function that the door of the rear door is not open so first have seen now it shows the time just a second so also it shows the low fuel ignition on off now for the left hand side it shows the tachometer as well as the fuel gauge indicator on the right hand side it shows the speedometer with the fuel gauge so this is a temperature gauge and this is a fuel gauge my bad and the central mid also shows some amount of feature informations and many other essential lights so it shows a clock it shows the function that the a rear door is not closed properly uh, it shows the trip a trip b also the odometer with the clock and the temperature so this is how it uh, this is what it all offers and also it shows the talk figures just as again the door of the rear is not it so it shows the average fuel economy range again trip a trip b and if you want to change the settings you can also change through here it shows the your uh, consumption of the fuel also the how many kilometer uh, what the speed you are driving and what is your driving time of this car total idle stop time and clock so this is what it all offers for the central instrument cluster now you do get new steering wheel now on the left hand side you have the controls for the central uh, infotainment system and you do get the cruise control this is uh, for the top end variant these are the controls for to receive the call and the voice command you get 9 inch of the new touchscreen system which is way better than the previous one now it shows it also gets the android auto and wireless android auto and apple carplay and also get the connected features which is an what do you say, leading segment or the leading feature or the essential feature for today's scenario here you have the sms with the chrome finish chrome silverish finished and also has a glossy black surrounds chrome is uh, sorry Silver and aluminum, silverish aluminum insert with a glossy finish which runs across the board. Now you get the dual tone interest. You also do get the dual tone interest interiors in Bellino, but the color they have used are the black and blue. That is not as attractive as the black and beige. Now the beige, the another good advantage of this uh, car of having the beige in beige color inside the uh, in the interior is that it feels much more roomy and also gives the feeling of the luxury uh, richness feeling when you drive this car. So here you have the automatic AC controls. So you do get this which up from the base wheel. That's another good thing. Now the further talking about the safety. Now this car has six airbags and ABS plus ABD. That's another good on feature. Now the difference that I was talking about. This is another difference if you want to differentiate between the Glanza and the Bellino. So this is what it all offers. You get a 5 speed manual and 5 speed AMT gearbox as well. Here you have the twin cup holders. Here you have some space to keep your phone. You do get the conventional 12 volt charging socket and also the USB socket. So this is you get the manual adjustable uh, IRVM you get sunshade for the driver you also get the reading, li uh, reading lights at the front two reading lights for the driver and the four uh, for the co-driver for the co-driver you get sunshade with the vanity mirror you also have grab handles for the co-driver but not for the driver for talking about the center console you get this manual handbrake and you also have armrest which is fixed not the slideable you also have some space underneath the armrest you can see to keep your wallet you do get the same amount of size of decent amount size of glove box so you also get the hud display which is another best in class or the first in class seg uh, segment feature now the that feature is also available but this is not the feature is not available or the functional for this variant it is you get the you will get that function uh, feature for the top end variant that's another best in class so this is what it all offers at the front now the comfort of the seat is also good now we'll come we will come uh, come to know more about this seat when you'll ride this car actually in city as well as in highway and some amount of the bad patches so now let's check away hope at the rear let's check it out what it all offers now before going just i'll show how the infotainment system works 
also have Bluetooth connectivity. And the response is good. It is way, it is much more improved than the previous infotainment message system, and that's a good thing that the Toyota is also improving as well as Suzuki is also improving. Now, the door opening of the car is wide, even and for the rear passengers, so it won't feel any difficulty for getting in and out. You have and padded, uh, padded armrest for the passenger as well as you have the power window these are the controls for a power window with a gloss finish this is to open the door and this is to lock and unlock the door you get the grab handle with the coat hook as well at the rear i have good amount of the leg room and good amount of the headroom as well my height, uh, height is about 511 so the under thigh support is not as good for me because i am tall now the people who are short than me may feel more comfortable at the rear for the amenities you get the rear ac vents with a blower control as well as two fast charging ports you can see one is here and one is here and also get some uh, here slot to keep your phone you do get uh, i think you get maximum holders for this seat not for the this now uh, you also get the adjustable hum rest uh, sorry adjustable head two adjustable headrests for the rear so this is what it all offers now they also they have continued the dual tone color for the seats as well which looks much more roomier and also gives a rich feeling when you sit in this car so this is what it all offers are the rear now let's check the boot capacity of this car You get 318 liters of the uh, boot capacity, so it is way deep. So here you have the boot light as well, and here you have some space. Here also you have some space. So underneath this boot space, you get the spare wheel. Now the uh, size of the spare wheel is 15 inches. is a one inch smaller than the normal wheel. And you also get the 60/40 split setup. So you have the parcel safe so you can keep your small tiny shopping bags over here don't keep any overloaded things or else it will break so now, now let's check out its dimensions so now the dimensions of this car is as such the length of this car is about 3990 mm the width of this car is about 1745 mm the height is about 1500 mm the wheelbase is about 2000 320 mm and you get the ground clearance about 170 mm so this was all about the all new toyota glanza i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe to my channel also don't forget to press the bell notification so that you won't miss any single single upload so also if you want to buy a car and if you are in sangli solapur uh, sangli satara kolapur then do visit the sonar toyota they will give you a good car at the good discount right shift right shift take care see you soon